up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Um, I was just kind of laughing to myself when I saw the most recent videos of Puffy and Stevie J riding breach cruises around Miami, taking pictures with females on the beach, laughing. And uh, this man just had multiple houses raided. Crazy allegations all over the news, worldwide. Um, multiple civil lawsuits. I mean, Puffy's caught more heat than the Tate brothers. And he's still running around with a smile on his face. And then he dropped a, another post where he said, Hey, if you stand by me, let it be known. If you're my friend, let me know you support, speak up. Otherwise, your silence, I will take that as what it is that you don't stand with me. And, uh, you know, the game, man, it's a dirty game when people see you in some hot water with allegations and uh, they don't, you know, come to your aid. But when they partying and enjoying all the good stuff with you, you know, they all up in your face laughing, smiling, drinking, freaking, you know, and that's what it appears to be what's going on as far as those who uh, have rode the wave and made a bunch of money with this dude, now they know where to be seen. You notice it's, it's this quiet, ain't none of these big producers, rappers, you know, defending P. Diddy, Puffy, um, you know, Mr. Bad Boy himself, none of them are coming forward and saying, hey, man, that's some bullshit. You know, they're not, you know, uh, making any counterclaims or, you know, saying, hey, the, you know, he wouldn't do something like that. I've been to the parties. It wasn't going down like that. Everybody's silent. And then what's even more interesting is that he's still making posts, which tells me he's got some shit on some people that, they can't touch him. So he's like, if I go down, I'm burning down the whole building. So those who would be jumping at him, uh, maybe going after his bank accounts or uh, shutting down his social media, banning him from platforms, they're not saying nothing. Do you remember when the taste got into some shit? They went after their, uh, their 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 money platforms, their media outlets, their social media platform. Russell Brand, same thing. They went after him, man. They tried to destroy that dude. Um, Ye, when he made some comments, they uh, some of the banks said they want to bank with him. They banned him from Twitter and all this stuff. But Diddy, Diddy's laughing. Diddy's playing the highest, most powerful game. He's playing three-dimensional chess on these fools because obviously he's got some video on people that are quaking right now. And if they didn't arrest nobody in that raid, they were looking for something. They were looking for the tapes. Looking for the videos, man. And this is not nothing new. You know, people think, oh, man, you know, Diddy, blah, blah, blah. Look, man, Hollywood's been controlled by big wigs who are controlling it because they're doing what they've been taught, which is, you know, blackmail stuff, man. It's, you know, CIA type shit. If you think about it, um, they were set up back in the day, certain brothels, hotels, have cameras in there. Certain politicians, political people would come in there. They get them on camera. They can use them now if they needed them to vote a certain way or turn their... Um, you know, turn a cheek to something that's going on. I mean, that's just the game, man. If you don't know that that's been played way before Puffy, then you guys have been in the, you guys have been sleeping. Think about this, right? I was talking with somebody the other day. Think about the Playboy Mansion. Think about really what that represented. You had a, a book that had all these women in them based on the months. People from all over the world, dignitaries, 
businessmen, powerful politicians would look in the book and say, hey, what's up with Miss July? What's up with Miss November? What's up with, you know, um, uh, the, 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 this bunny right here who's, you know, a candidate for Miss March? That was a legal pimp calendar. That was a, that was a pimp book, man. Heff was the, the OG pimp. And then if you came to the mansion, he most likely had you on video doing some shit. So at any given time, you could be compromised. How else would you explain the Playboy Mansion had a picture of, and you know, under a, on the wall of a particular actress and nobody said anything back in the day. When you think about that, man, that shit wouldn't, that wasn't culture. That wasn't even that wasn't even legal, but it was there in plain sight. There's pictures of it, and you think like, man, there was some weird shit going on. Yeah, there was parties, this and that, you know, and a lot of shit going on in the grotto. But you best believe that the freakery came with a trade off, and. When you think about uh, having access, Puffy had access to any and everybody. Everybody wanted to be down with Puffy. You know, everybody wanted to get down with him. I, you know, I never got out with him as far as, you know, I never met the man. You know, I, I'm just um, doing what everybody else is doing, you know, and just talking and, and sharing my insight. But I'm talking from a perspective of uh, how I've, I've talked to certain people in certain circles and how they move. And um, if you want to really move at the highest levels, I remember a guy telling me in prison, he said, man, look, a black man, any man, if you're moving at a certain level, and a, a, a old white guy told me too, he was doing 30 years, he said, man, you got to have shit on people, man. That's how you get out. You know, how you think certain people get out of prison? They ain't necessarily... Uh, snitch, but they have some some shit on somebody else. Somebody's granddaughter was doing this, or somebody's uh, cousin was doing this, and they're tied into this person, and it ruined their reputation. You know, if you can bring that information, expose it, you can you can get out. You know, that's how they used to do it, man. It's trade, it's trading information. You know, and Puffy man, he's got some heavy information that he's trading right now. He's trading that shit all the way down, you know, so he ain't sitting up in that penitentiary uh, with some old sex trafficking charges, underage shit, because, uh, you know, they won't take lightly to that, especially them, you know, a lot of them, them boys down down there, boy, they they like, oh, man, this dude was out here doing this, man, we about to bring it to him. So he, he trading information right now, you know? I assume, I, I don't know personally, but, you know, in a situation like that, and you're not really worried, most people would be scared to death, man. You know, but this guy, he's uh, he's pretty confident in his actions, and and he's still posting, and uh, he's not in jail. I've never I've never seen where they raided anybody like that, and they didn't take somebody to jail. You know, where they got his drug mule. That guy, okay, wow, you know the drug mule, but um. Yeah, you know, I, I've I've you know talked to some guys, and they've been around some really high power people behind the walls, and they were saying, you know, um, a lot of guys stay out the way, you know, through information. If you have this, and you know, you can barter, you can trade, you know. Imagine having a yacht, hundred foot yacht, two hundred fifty foot yacht, and you got cameras in places people wouldn't believe, man. You out in the middle of the ocean. You got all kind of drugs, sex going on, freakery, and you got a centralized database where all this shit is being uploaded. And then you got a backup. You know, you don't never just have it in one place. You got that shit secure somewhere else, maybe off an island somewhere. Man, shit. And think about the people who didn't know, these married men, these these world leaders, these uh, religious leaders, these people who are holier than thou, you know, they, they they call themselves this and that, and they're doing some of the most 
deplorable things you can think of with some of the people that aren't even of age. Yeah. He kind of put it out there, said, hey, if you, if, you, if you stand with me, you know, let it be known. And it was, it's still quiet. I ain't heard none of these dudes, oh, man, puppy, man, that's, I got his back, blah, blah, blah. You ain't heard nothing from none of these big hip-hop artists that done did duos with this dude and, you know, did music with this guy. And you ain't heard nothing. They all quiet. Why are they quiet? <laughs> yeah, B, it's that fake love. It's that fake love or... Are they trying to dodge a bullet? See, they can't dodge it, though, because now they don't expose themselves. So he's like, okay, so-and-so didn't come forward. So-and-so didn't come forward. Here's their tapes. Here's their tapes. Here's their tapes. Come on, man. We about to see some shit exposed in 2024. You laughing at Homeland Security and the feds. Multiple allegations. I mean, dude got away with them, man. There's people that have been allegedly murk behind this guy and he he's still running around grinning powerful man powerful man you know smarter than epstein smarter than some of these other people who are out here doing this shit you know smarter than cosby for right now we don't know how it's going to play out but it's interesting you know I, i'm always studying you know personalities and when you get around people who are super you know uh they're intelligent, but they also have, um, there's a, a narcissist, narcissistic, uh, um, characteristic. And then on top of it, you throw in money and it's almost like an untouchable, you know, some of the mob guys had that, you know, where they felt untouchable until the government came, but they didn't have this type of, uh, counter intelligence going on. This dude, he, 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 he's got some, He's got some serious uh, game behind him. And whoever mentored him, man, they laced him up really well. And, um, you know, I'm not here to uh, judge. Uh, you know, I didn't go to none of the parties. I'm hearing the same thing you're hearing. But I know he's smarter than most. And he most likely prepared himself in case he did get go down or get caught up that Others would go down. He's seen R. Kelly, man. I mean, like you said, there's numerous ones we can name, but the R. Kelly wasn't, he was recording, but he wouldn't record anybody else recording. So he had nothing to work with. I'm quite sure Puppy's got recording on top of recording on top of recordings. It's a, you know, CIA handbook, man. It's a playbook on how you keep yourself out of prison. You know, if you have some, some of these people are doing some stuff bending over, cheek spread, wilding out. Woo, man, you, you free, you free, man. You ain't got to worry about that, man, you free. <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, why this guy is so, you know, still smiling and grinning at the camera, man, after these raids. I think this shit is amazing. You know, it's, it's not amazing in a sense where I think that, oh my God, this guy's, the greatest. I just think that he's got some shit up his sleeve that nobody has any idea of what is actually up his sleeve. Go to BigHurtDownWithSex.com, pick up some merch, subscribe, share the channel, represent. Are you tired of smelling funky? Have you washed your ass? Go to BigKirkNetWorks.com and get your nutsack right. I didn't start off as a bad kid. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear 
turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds.